It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Steelers and the Silver and Black. And it comes your way next. Just west of the world-famous Las Vegas Strip, we're at the site of Super Bowl 58, Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Excited for this one. Partner, what are we looking at here as this game gets rolled? You know, I think this game is quite interesting in the fact, Mike, that I feel like before every week's matchup, we sit up here and we talk about quarterbacks in the passing game. And obviously, that is the direction the NFL has been headed for the last couple years. But in this matchup here today specifically, I think both these offenses want to flip that on its head. They want to control the clock, time management, ball control. Don't be afraid to punt the ball away and play defense. It's a little bit of an old school philosophy, but you have to do whatever it takes to win each matchup. And I think both of those formulas of these two teams are very similar. The kicker, Daniel Carlson, has this one teed up. And off we go from Vegas. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. The Steelers led out by their quarterback, Russell Wilson. Still strange to not see him in a Seattle uniform where he was for a decade, a couple of years with the Broncos. And now, Greg, the nine-time Pro Bowler, year one in Pittsburgh. I had a coach tell me earlier in my career, Mike, specifically about the quarterback position. If you don't have fast feet, you better have a fast mind. And here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center. He has seen a lot of football, and while he might not be as mobile, he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career, that experience behind center, that experience being in these moments before, man, having that quick mind, there's not a whole lot of defense is going to throw at him that he hasn't seen. Look him up on a second down and eight. Another run here with Harris. And he'll get maybe a yard. That's it. Divine Diablo there to make the play. What can they do here on third down and seven? Now Russ. That's pulled in. Najee Harris. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. Now a fair catch, and it's going to be a long field. They'll take over right about their own 13. The Raiders offense set to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by their quarterback, drafted back in 2019 out of Washington State. It's Gardner Minshew. If he's going to lead his team to a win, he has to be smart with his decision-making. The last thing you want to do is give the opposing team an extra possession solely because you got reckless with the ball. As long as he is calculated with those risks, I think they have a good chance today coming out on top. Play action now with Minshew. Open man downfield. He's got his tight end, Bowers. How about 25 yards to start the drive? First down. And you see the rookie tight end, Brock Bowers, pick up the first down. Mike, of all the tight ends that I've watched in college over the last, call it, 10 years or so, I'm not sure if I've seen a more dynamic, ready-for-the-NFL tight end than Brock Bowers. I mean, two-time Mackey Award winner, 700-plus yards each of the last three seasons. He can get downfield. He can make tough catches. He can run with the ball after the catch. I mean, there's not a lot this guy can't do, and... I think he's got a shot to be that next big-time young breakout rookie tight end. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were, 
Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Here's second and nine. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. He's got the Golden Domer. That's Michael Mayer. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they get five on third and two. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. First and 10 now from the 36. On a zone read, a give to White. Not much happening there, just a short game. Here's a second and nine. They'll go again with White. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. Number one rule of run blocking for the offensive line is you don't want to allow penetration. It just doesn't give your running back any angles to cut and find the hole. It's exactly how it played out here. They've got to do a better job holding the line of scrimmage and not getting pushed back. He gets this complete finding Adam. It's a gain of 19 in the air. Good for a Raider first down. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four, throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. We'll try the right side with White. A modest gain. Maybe two yards. It's second down. Off the bootleg, it's Minshew. This one complete to Bryant. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. Ah, oh, but he'll gather it back in. Oh, man, Greg, those must be scary times for a player. Not that it happened to you often, but he lost the ball but was able to get it back and avoid the turnover. Well, Mike, I hate to admit it, but unfortunately, I was in that situation <laughs> a few times, and I'll tell you what. When that ball pops out of your hand, the only thing on your mind is, is there anything I can do to get it back? And he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a sack and a loss of a couple. And that's a big-time play. It felt like they really needed it, Mike. That was a drive where the offense seemed to be in complete control. Anytime on the defense where you find yourself on your heels, you're giving up big plays, you're giving up fresh set of downs, you need a spark. You need something to change the momentum of the drive, and we'll see if that was it right there. Now from the nine, it'll be second and goal. They'll run over center with White. He is in. Zamir White, touchdown Vegas. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finish it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together 
but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Daniel Carlson on to attempt the extra point. He's got it. And the Raiders will take a 7-0 lead. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. On the return, here comes Cordero Patterson. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Steelers' offense ready to get going with their second possession. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. Here's first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. He'll let this go for picking. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. This offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd and... Even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. They're going to continue to be aggressive, especially through the air. And if they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes, it's going to go a long way to settling themselves into this game. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. They come to the line needing 11 here on third down. Out of the gun, here's Russ. He's got his man. It's Jefferson. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. Back-to-back -back three and outs, and... Not ideal to start the game in that manner, so that's a really important throw right there. Let's see if they can build something from there. Brings up first and 10. Continue to let your opening script unfold. You got to go down and find some points here and get your offense settled down. Now it's Harris. And he will wiggle his way forward for a gain of a couple. Second down and eight. They'll give it to Harris again. A gain there of 16 yards. Good for a Steeler first down. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. So after one, seven nothing is our score. And we're back in Vegas after this. The break the huddle. 
coming up now for first and ten. They go play action now. Wilson. And he'll take it on in. Roman Wilson. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Chris Boswell on for the point after. It's up and good. And the Steelers will level things out at seven apiece. So back to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff. On the return, it is Trey Tucker. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Raiders offense and their running back, Samir White, heading onto the field. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. The shotgun, a throw for Minshew. That's caught by Abdullah. And we'll mark him down just shy of the 40. So in regards to being used in the passing game, there's really two types of backs in this league. There's the check down back. He's able to just take the short gains and try to pick up more yards after catch. And then there's the back that can be used as a weapon. He can run choice routes. He can run real wide receiver type routes. And man, when you got a guy like that in your passing game, it is a handful for defenses. Look at him move away from a tackler as he winds up gaining seven yards. Nice run there. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Now it's the veteran, Amir Abdullah. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed, you know that play's not going anywhere. And that's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration. Great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started. He'll try and throw with Minshew. Uh, he gets that one complete to his tight end, Bowers. They get 18 on the pitching catch. First down, Vegas. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. On the give, it's White. And they will take him down at the 20 yard line. The goal of every offense, Mike, is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. With some success here early on the ground, we'll open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. Whole lot of extra muscle over there on the left side for this first and 10. On first down, right back to White. Well, they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back. Defense all over that one. They stop him for no gain. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground, Mike. There was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. We'll try again. It's second and 10.
Good drive to this point. Now can you convert on third and three? They'll try to run for it. Here's White. Well, we have an early decision here, Mike. How aggressive does this coach want to be on this fourth down try? I think you got to keep your offense out there. You have a prime opportunity to take the fight to them, extend this drive, and hopefully be able to come away with points. The field goal unit on the sideline. They'll line up to go for it on fourth down. They'll go. It's White. And he will score again. Zamir White. Touchdown, Las Vegas. That's his second touchdown so far here in the first half. What a standout performance early on in this one. That his second rushing touchdown of the game. And some backs, Mike, they just have a sense of finding the end zone and being able to finish off these runs. That's exactly what this guy has been able to do today, and we're just getting started. Now Carlson to add the extra point. It's up and through, and the Raiders will move out to a 14-7 lead. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Patterson now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense now, heading back onto the field. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. start this on the ground and it's Harris and he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage but will not do it this is going to be a loss of a yard well they try to get the run game started here early on this drive Mike and they're just going to have to do a better job up front there's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go you never want to lose yards on first down but that's exactly the case here from the shotgun Wilson throw on the run is complete and he's going to get this to the 37 yard line every once in a while it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here the quarterback just dumps the ball down a quick underneath completion and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest and that's what it takes you're not always going to have the perfect play you're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself in your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. On the ground is Jalen Warren. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. That's to the right side, and incomplete. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. On 
Third down, here's Wilson. He's got his tight end. That's fire move. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. He'll try the right side now with Harris. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Coming off that edge, Mike, you have to quickly determine, is this a pass or is it a run? And once he realized it was a run, he's able to shed his blocker, make the play, no gain. He'll try again here, second and 10. On second down, Russ will get about six before he's taken down. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game, everything looks the same. There's no tells, so they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or a pass. They've got to defend the entire playbook, and... So far, they've done a great job on this drive doing just that. And he is close to the pylon, but they say he's not in. But he's got the next best thing. No touchdown, but a first down. It's first and goal. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board? Because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal, but... Right now, they're on the doorstep of the end zone, and they got to find a way to put that ball across the board. And he's not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose yardage. They push him backwards. The reason teams love calling the quarterback's number on design quarterback runs, Mike, is because in the blocking scheme, you gain one additional blocker. It didn't matter here. The defense was ready for it, and they're able to bring the quarterback down for a loss. They'll try to run it with Harris. This defense back up, but stepping up. No gain on the play. It stays at the three. Although I would have liked to have seen them throw the ball on one of the two prior downs. Now after getting stopped twice, Mike, they haven't gained an inch on the ground. I think on third down, you have no choice but to put the ball in the hands of your quarterback and see if he can make a play through the air. On third and goal, Wilson. A good blocking, and he's in. Russell Wilson, touchdown Steelers. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him. And in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Boswell adds the extra point, and the Steelers will tie things up. We are all even at 14. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Raiders offense. And they're running back. Set to go once more. This one, everything we could have hoped for to this point. All even at 14. They'll start this drive with first down. Minshew out of the pistol here. He'll find his running back, White. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down.
They'll work now on second and four. From the gun, here's Minshew. Throw over the middle, brought in by Adams. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. They're going to go play action now with Minshew. He's going to let one go, looking for Myers. I'll tell you what, Mike, considering how this offense has played in the first couple possessions, I'm surprised that one wasn't completed. It seems like that's the first miss of the game. Continue to push the ball downfield. Continue to build on this momentum because so far they've come out hot in this one. To the air once more is... Oh, there him in a flash and he's lost the football and the defense has it well the ball comes out and the scramble for it it ends up becoming a turnover and the offense walks off the field disappointed with that fumble Mike when you look at a stat sheet at the end of the game and you want to determine which team wins and which team loses at the top of the list is ball security which team does a better job protecting it and which team does a better job taking it away. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. This is intercepted. Picked off by Nate Hobbs. going to be taken down just shy of the goal line. Nearly a pick six, but he does set up the offense with first and goal. All right, Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports studios and our halftime report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, Coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. Both teams look good on the offensive side in the first half. Will it carry over? We're about to find out. Second half is underway. He'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Raiders offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They'll start it here with a first and 10. to throw Minshew. That's a short one. Caught by Bowers. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. A give, and here's White. He'll work this ahead for two, maybe three. Cole Holcomb in on the tackle. They face second down and seven. Go fake the give, and now it's Minshew. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and 
what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. To the air on third down, it's Minshew. He's going to have the first down and then some. And he's into the end zone. Brock Bowers. Touchdown Raiders. What a job to finish the play with a touchdown. The catch and carry in the carry part, Greg. That was the most impressive there. Well, you said it, Mike. The catch was nice. But it's what can you do after the catch that really separates guys in this league. And in this case, he did plenty because it ended up in a touchdown. Carlson now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Raiders have broken the deadlock as they move out to a 21 to 14 lead. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. It's a return. Here comes Calvin Austin. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Steelers offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They're searching here for the tying score. Down 21-14. And they'll begin first and 10. This drive begins with a run by Harris. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. Second and a yard. They go play action with Wilson. He'll get this over the middle to Jefferson. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive, and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. And they'll take this down inside the 35. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us. And right now, this defense has no answers. First and 10. Gonna run out of the gun, and here's Harris. And that'll go for a gain of about four. Robert Spillane spills him there. Here's second and six. On the handoff, it's Harris. He'll move it ahead for about three yards. Divine Diablo there to make the play. Third down, three to go. Oh, there's movement up front. That's going to make this third down a lot tougher. That's um, the rookie first-round pick, Troy Fautanu. So after the five yards walked off, it is third down and eight. Now Russ. And they get 
to him and finally bring him down. It will go down as a sack. This is where the playmaking ability almost can be a detriment to a running quarterback. They have such confidence in their ability to keep plays alive with their legs that sometimes they hold it just a little bit too long, thinking they can make the next big play. And good job by the defenders tracking them down and took them down for a loss. Now on fourth down, the veteran Chris Boswell on for the Steelers. This one from 49. Boswell's kick is good. And the Steelers will cut the lead down to four. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return here comes Tucker and a decent return there he'll get this up just shy of the 30 the Raiders offense ready to get back to work the lead sits at four so they'll try to add on to that this drive begins with first and ten start this on the ground and here's white and they'll be set up now up past the 40 with that one this is where you have to be careful mike you find yourself winning in the second half human instinct says all right let's just sit on the ball and protect the lead and let the clock run out you can't do that stay aggressive do what got you here continue to mix the run with the pass keep your foot on the gas and try to extend this lead another run here with white and a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. And it does have the first down. Oh, Mike, second down and short, one of the best. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it, but a nice job by the quarterback, realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off, turn into a runner, pick up the first down. On first down, it's White. Wow. A big run. They finally get to him and bring him down. Wow. I mean, he's going to be disappointed. He went away, but... That's still a heck of a run. In the end, after a good tackle to save the touchdown, they're still going to be set up with first and goal. Now a chance to pay off that big play. They have it first and goal. Off the bootleg, it's Minshew. To the end zone there, but... It is incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and it'll lead to a second and goal. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. And the defense stiffening here. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's all. Third and goal coming up. Well, after the failures of the first and second down, you got to look now at your third down call sheet. Every play caller has a section. Must have it plays. Critical downs. I say this one falls in that category, and we'll see what they have up their sleeve. They look to throw it with Minshew, and that is incomplete. Just a couple plays ago, Mike, it felt like a touchdown was kind of inevitable. They were doing everything they wanted as they marched the length of the field, and then 
as they got down here close to the red zone and that field condenses, they started getting sloppy in their execution. Now, what do they do on fourth down? Do they try to keep their offense out there and extend the drive, or do they settle for three? Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there, but I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. Back out is Carlson following the made field goal. And he sends this kickoff away. Patterson now to return it. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Steelers' offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Here's Harris. Has an opening past the 40. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. Well, that's how you get a drive started. A big play here in the run game. And you have to imagine this is something we're going to continue to see. Success early in the drive typically results in success later in the drive. Now Wilson on first down. There's a short one caught by Fryerman. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Now this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. Shotgun snap, and they give it to Harris. And they'll finally run him down, but he takes it inside the 10-yard line. This is a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. So it took just three plays, but just like that, they have first and goal. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. He and he's in. Russell Wilson. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. And that is now a pair of rushing touchdowns. The quarterback giving it to them, Greg, with his legs in this one. And we're starting to see, Mike, why this week this coaching staff told us they're encouraging this guy to do this more often. His ability to be a passer but also a rusher is an element to this offense that is hard for defenses to account for. Boswell now for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Steelers will tie this game at 24. So back to level after the touchdown. In time for the kickoff. Here comes Amir Abdullah on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The home team's offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And as we look at the highlights, you see it's been tough to stop him here today. Couple of touchdowns in this ball game. He has, without a doubt, been the driving force in this offense so far. So they come to the line for first down and 10. 
in motion is Myers. Throwing on first and ten, it's Minshew. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. In motion is Myers. On first and ten, it's Minshew. And that is incomplete. They couldn't hook up there. As time has expired, the third quarter has come to an end. Minshew to the air on second down. That's to the right side and caught by Bowers. Wow, an important one coming here. Tie game, late, and this is third down. He gets that complete to his tight end man. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Great timing and anticipation. The second the tight end's head turned around, the quarterback put the ball on him, and now it's, hey, let's see who wants to tackle this big guy and bring him to the ground. Throwing again is Minshew. He's got the tight end mare. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him pretty evident that the defense is just giving no time a day to any run actions. They are playing pass all the way, and he can continue to give as many play action fakes as he wants. It hasn't affected anybody, and in this case, it results in a sack. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. The shotgun, a throw for Minshew. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. That's catch three just on this drop, and it gets his team a first down. You get in these situations, third down, tie game, fourth quarter. I mean, this is really where your quarterback makes his money. You are going to put your faith and say, all right, what is the best play for this offense to execute? And the game really rests in the hands of your quarterback, and he continues to come up with these third down pickups and continues to extend this drive. He's got a shot to come away the hero and win this game here late. What more could you ask for on first down? Nice run of eight, setting up second and short. Back is Minshew. That's over the middle, but it's incomplete. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. They've moved the ball well here, but now face third and two. In motion is Myers. Third and two, and here's Minshew. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. 
Trying to get it to his tight end, Brock Bowers. And it's going to bring up fourth down. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range, but do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six? And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. So they lead by three here in this fourth quarter. Now have to turn it over to the defense as they kick it off. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Steelers offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. It's Wilson. Got a man open downfield on the crossing route. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Big time play there as they try to cut into this fourth quarter deficit. At this point in the game, Mike, remember, you're just going to get a couple more possessions, so you have to make the most of them, especially with the lead being this close for the taking. There's no need to rush. But you have to execute your offense and make sure you end this drive with points. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. They'll run here. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's a second and six. Now it's Wilson. That's caught by the tight end, Darnell Washington. And they will take him down at the 20-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Here's a second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. Took that one outside, waiting for that cutback lane, but it never developed. No gain on the cap. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, We've had enough. They sold out to stop them. They hold them to no game. They'll stick to the ground. And a spirited run there, somehow managing to gain a couple of yards. So out comes the veteran, Chris Boswell, in a big spot. This to tie things up here in the fourth. And this one right down the middle. It's good. That evens the score here in the fourth quarter. And this is where it pays to have a kicker you can trust, Mike. I mean, this is as big a spot as there is. 
Fourth quarter, what does he do? He comes out and he delivers to tie up this game. All even. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? And he'll bring it out to the 22-yard line. That's where the offense will take the field. The home team's offense and Gardner Minshew going to take over once again. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum, on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. So first and 10 now, they'll start from the 22. They'll run. And that one is closed down in the backfield. What a defensive play. Knifing in, dropping him for the loss. Great job by the defense here, quickly realizing that this was going to be a draw. They're not caught off guard thinking that they're defending the pass. They're able to not only get in there for a stop, but they're able to take him down in the backfield for a loss. He'll run over center with White. And he'll find some space, taking it for six out to the 26-yard line. Here comes third and six. From the gun, here's Minshew. He'll try to run for it. Really nice job here. Not only avoiding the rush on third down, but quickly finding that crease, get downfield, and he's able to pick up the first down. All three timeouts, plus the two-minute warning remain as we get set for first and ten. Minshew. To the outside, it's brought in by Adams. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. That'll be a gain of 20, much of it coming after the catch as they pick up the first down. They'll drop to throw. Looking middle there, but it's incomplete. All right, so this is why you get paid the big bucks. These are the possessions as a quarterback you need to deliver for your team. Everybody talks about two-minute. Everybody drills it every single week. But when it comes down to this moment in the game, your quarterback needs to be on point. And after that first down incompletion, it just makes things that much harder. Over the middle, that's the tight end, Bowers. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. This is first and 10. A run with White. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Here comes second down. White. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, but that's it. Now Pittsburgh will bang a timeout here. That's their second. We'll talk things over before third down. White. And now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout. 
as they'll discuss what's to come as fourth downs looming. So big kick coming now for Daniel Carlson. This to grab a late lead. This kick is good. They move out front and take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think obviously you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. So they lead by three here in this fourth quarter. Now have to turn it over to the defense as they kick it off. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The visitors' offense and running back Najee Harris getting set to take over once more. They'll do so with first and ten. gun here's Russ and they bring him down but not until he gets the 45 yard line all right this is a good start plays like these are definitely going to help as you work your way into scoring range while you have to be wary of the clock and keep an eye on it they should have plenty of time here to finish this drive final minute no timeouts at their disposal it's first and ten he finds Austin with the grab. First time they've looked his way all game long, but he comes through with the grab and a first down. These comebacks, they require a lot of trust and timing from everybody involved. If the quarterback's a little too early, the receiver's not out of his break. But if the quarterback's a little too late, that's when disaster can strike. So give credit, really well-timed, really nice job by both guys. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. He was looking for George Pickens there. And it'll bring up second down. So I still think there's plenty of time if they can get within shot of the end zone that they can go for a touchdown and try to win this thing in regulation. You always have a field goal try in your back pocket to at least tie the game and force overtime. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. the gun it's Wilson they'll be forced to just throw that one away it's incomplete this is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think like they know this offense has to be one dimensional this has to be a pass so what do they do they bring in extra defensive backs they clog up the back end and at the end of the day there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball comes the veteran, Chris Boswell, in a big spot. This to potentially send us to overtime. This one is on target, and it is good. And we are almost certainly bound for overtime. And that's just a big-time kick right there. I mean, think about all the things running through this kicker's head. He knows if he misses it, this game's over. But he's cool. He's calm. He steps up, takes a deep breath, and he knocks it through to extend this game.
Final seconds here, overtime looming on the horizon as they kick it off. Here comes the return from a yard or two deep. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. Here is first and ten. They send the tight end in motion. The drive begins with a run by White. And he's going to be taken down, and that will do it. Four quarters, no winner. Let's keep going. We're off to overtime. Four quarters could not determine a winner. We get back underway here in overtime. Patterson now to return it. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The visitors' offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Wilson. Quick throw taken in and no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today he's certainly lived up to that reputation. The shotgun, Wilson. Quick throw here is complete. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Here's third down and a few inches. They'll try to run for it with Harris. He will have a Steelers first down. He has it by plenty. They keep the drive alive here on third and inches. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll run the draw with Warren. And not a lot there. Only up to about the 41. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Wilson. That's over the middle and taken in by Fryermuth. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. Now a third and two. Wilson now off the bootleg. Taking off, he'll try to get there. He will have a Steelers first down. At least it appears that way. He got it maybe by the length of the football. On third down, the defense decides to dial up a blitz. Give credit to the offensive line and the running backs. They were ready for it. They picked it up. 
That's what allowed the quarterback to escape the pocket, see open space, and convert and pick up the first down. The throw on the run is complete. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. And he will not be able to get free, picking up only a yard. Now, it's third down. Now Russ, he's got his man, it's Pickens. A gain there of 11. That's a Steeler first down. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike, how well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, I'm not sure how you guard him. They run it over center with Harris. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Well, there's not a whole lot of fancy going on here, Mike. This is just kind of old school, line up and run smash mouth football. It's exactly what they did, but it still ends up in a big game, and he picks up the first down. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Another run here with Harris. Not much to work with there. We'll get down to about the 22. Second down and eight. They'll give it to Harris again. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. Here's third and seven. Now it's Wilson. He's got his tight end. That's fire move. Give him a dozen yards on that one and give them first and goal. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. They keep finding ways to keep this drive alive, and they're set up now for first and goal. That is caught, and he's into the end zone. That'll do it. They win it in OT. Don't forget about the extra point here. This, an important one. The kick is good. So an ideal start to this overtime. And now it's up to the defense to preserve a seven-point lead. So, thanks to that recent rule change, still the chance to extend this game and match that opening overtime score as they receive the kickoff here. Past midfield! And he finally gets forced out of bounds, but that was a fantastic return. So your entire season comes down to this. 
playoff rule overtime, you get to match the opposing team's touchdown, and you return the ensuing kickoff and set yourself up with a short field for a chance to not only possibly tie, but you have a chance to win this game right here on this drive. Set to go now on first and 10. Now a first throw here in overtime. That's thrown right side, but incomplete. Michael Mayer, the tight end, was targeted with that one. It's second down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. That's a short one, caught by Bowers. And that'll go for a gain of seven, and it's going to set up third down. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards, but do it after the catch. They'll try to run for it. Here's White. And he's going to have the first down. They'll mark him at the 29, but it's a new set of downs. First down picked up. going to go play action now with Minshew. He keeps it himself. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. A good spot here, second and a yard. the handoff it's white running right and he'll bring this inside the 15 that's good enough for the first down this offense they're not interested in taking the deep shot here second and short the way they're running the ball pound the rock reset the downs and just keep the drive alive space getting tight here down to the 13 yard line they work first and 10. What separates the really good quarterbacks from everybody else in the National Football League, Mike, is not only ability to process, but the ability to process quickly under pressure. And I think that's exactly the case here. He's able to go through his progression, find his target in the end zone, and then deliver that ball on time, accurately, and the result is a touchdown. They could have tried for the win. Instead, they'll go for one to extend the game. And an exhale there. Extra point is good. Now, next score wins as we play on here in overtime. So back to level after the touchdown and time for the kickoff. Austin now to return this. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The visitors offense and Russell Wilson set to take over once more. And he has been in control this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long.
They'll come up here first and ten. They put Wilson in motion. Look to hit him with a jet sweep here to begin this drop. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. They run out of the gun with Warren. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They send Firemuth, the tight end, in motion. On third and one, Wilson. This one intercepted. And he's going to give a short field to his offense here as they try to break the top. Mike, find me a defense that doesn't love being part of a battle like this in overtime. I mean, the back and forth, stop after stop. And now this group comes through with a huge turnover to now give their offense a chance to go out there and finally end this ballgame. Here's Minshew now on first and ten. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Now timeout Vegas. That is their second. On the handoff, it's White. And that'll be a pickup of three. So big kick coming now for Daniel Carlson. This one to win it in overtime. So now, out comes the field goal unit in this pressure spot. This one, he's got to have. On now, Daniel Carlson to try the field goal. This will be a 38-yard attempt. This kick is good. He got it. It took overtime. But they will walk off the field with the victory. So this one, a win for the Raiders. This was a close-fought game. They were able to get themselves into field goal range here at OT. And the final kick sailed through the uprights to finally close out this victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Black Hole celebrates the Raiders. Winners here. We'll see if there are other winners outside. So long from Vegas.